right. Let's go. Today already stage nine. Direction Campo Felice. Distance 158 kilometers. Profile of today. So it's not an easy day. And especially with the gravel at the end. Okay, guys. You see, it's no easy, easy stage, guys. It's important stage. I think uh, Egan and me are quite uh, are quite eager to take the jersey today, probably. So uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, also today can be quite important because uh, we know after the rest day is a tricky stage with the, the gravel stage. So uh, we also need the cars to be in front uh, for the mechanicals and everything. So uh, today will be a big GC fight for sure. Stage 9, a fascinating prospect, 158 kilometers from Castel di Sangro in Abruzzo to Campo Felice, Rocca di Cambio. 1.30, 1 minute 30, five riders in the front now, eh? Two days to go, eh, guys, eh? Come on, eh? Not for nothing, you are wolf pack, eh? Come on, eh? Strong head, when I started the graver, eh? Bouchard onto the gravel, eventually to be caught by Kern Bauman on one of the steeper sections, but behind him, the general classification race, headed by Ineos, suddenly exploded into life. For Egan Bernal, he crossed the line, took victory at stage nine, and with the time gap on the line, also uh, took the Maglia Rosa. Giulia Ciccone finishing in second place and picking up six seconds, and Vlasov in third with a four-second time bonus. Then in fourth place, Remco Evenepoel. Good job, guys. Very good job. Um, yeah, the start was quite hard with the two climbs, so the race has been hard again for a long time. Um, but then in the end, the uh, last climbs did not really feel like uh, real mountains, only the last one and a half off-road section felt quite hard. But um, actually I was a bit hoping for a harder race in the final, but um, in the end uh, everything went well. We kept the position in the GC, which is important also for Monday. Um, for Wednesday, sorry, and um, yeah, I think the team did well. We did the maximum. Um, a lot of guys has been have been suffering today uh, as well. I think uh, coming into the the last k and a half, I uh, was a bit in a bad position. But this happened in in the tunnel when uh, a guy of Ineos almost touched the wheel of uh, Bernal in front of me, and then we lost some positions together. So, uh, but that's also racing, and it happens. But um, just because of that, I had a bit of a uh, bad position to start the off-road section. Uh, but then in the end, I tried to move up as much as possible and uh, I quite gained some places. Unfortunately, ju just out of the, the bony seconds uh, to not lose too much time. But in the end, I only lost 10 seconds plus the 10 seconds bonification, which make 15 seconds in GC, which is almost nothing uh, if we know that the big, big mountains are still coming. So. The team can be proud of the work today and uh, in the end tomorrow is going to be a sprinter stage again and then rest day so uh, I think everybody is happy for now. <laughs>